Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to OLC TV for some more Total War Three Kingdoms. The Furious Wild 190 start date as Shushia. So we've recruited Jotai, Gaoshun, Han Anyue. We've married Han Anyue to our heir, Shushin. We have defended Guangyu, Yulin Guangyu, against Dong Chuna. But Dong Chuna has come back and raised his troops, so we have recruited Shu Hui, our son, back to the forces to guard Lin Chen from Dong Chuna. At the same time, Shu Xie is leading a force to Zhang uh, Zhang Ke, Wu Lian, to see if we can take this territory out. It is, however, Nanman lands, and so we will, in Nanman lands, suffer from fatigue. We will reduce our movement range. Our supplies are being chewed through. It's not great, but his army is not there. We should be able to beat it pretty efficiently. Our economy is looking very, very shiny indeed. Um... Lin Chen has a crap garrison. Uh, a really crap garrison. Were we to upgrade it, we're going to get all those extras, which is going to help. It only cost me 110, which we could afford. So, yeah, very nice. Next turn. Got a good amount of money coming in, though uh, it's just dropped quite hard, I think, because one of our treaties has expired. Probably the one with Liu Yao. Um, we might look at reigniting that same treaty. Uh, send him food. Oh, sir, it's just north of Dongtuna. That's not unexpected, actually. Dongtuna is pissing about. He's going to start to uh, suffer attrition if he continues his movement. Jurong's for a Jiayang. Oh, sir. Uh, another daughter. Brilliant. Good. The young ones. Your son and nephew, Shi Zhe and Shi Kuang, have heard of your success in establishing these lands. And ask if you're in need of additional people to help realize your ambition. Will you let them join your cause? Yes, I will. Um, yes, I will indeed. The more, the merrier. Shu Huang, you can have that. Shu Zhe, oh, you are the middle child. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, and Shu Huang is the unbiased advisor. Excellent. Excellent. Um, Wei Liang, yeah, nobody, nobody we need. We've got the Wei Liao Zi. That's not bad at all, actually. Um, no, we prefer that with you. You perhaps military supplies for our own army. There. Now, Dorsa is just north. If we take this. If we take Zanka, which we will, uh, this is not a fight worth having. We've taken his territory. We are going to vassalize him, okay? Um, this is going to keep Dongtuna as a faction operating, but it's going to give us a Nanman border here. Trishin has leveled up. Um, Shi as well, brilliant. Well, Shi, you can definitely have this because that's going to help us. Shushin uh, Earthen Rampart. We want to shift over here so we can get that eventually. Um, but our army here is in a good place now. He is now on our side, which means we can dismiss you, um, which means we're going to get more money per turn, which is magnificent. Dorsa is, I believe, literally just here. So our man here will be ready to attack. We can't recruit in this territory, but we can replenish. I don't think we uh, need to recruit anyway. Um, what we do is we want Dongtuna to come back. Now, even though he's a vassal, I don't think we can trade with him because he needs uh, his own... How are you? Strategic threat, but you're trending up, which is good. Um, you're very poor on the old food. I can help you out. I can help you out. I'm going to send you one food. Um, I just like... You know, a handful of coins just to say thanks. We'll stay there. That'll do. Thank you. Just to help him. You, we are definitely throwing food at you. I don't want to send that much. This much we could ask for. How much can you give me? That's just a tiny bit. Not quite. Not quite. Come on. Come on. You bastard. There we go. 220. There we go. 
That'll bring us extra money as well. We've still got two food left, which is what I want as my own personal buffer. We can upgrade this, which will give us more. We can upgrade in here as well, which can be peasantry income. Character experience is always nice. Income from commerce is always nice too. Ah, uh, ooh, the options, the options. Um, I think we should probably upgrade this just for the food production for now. Um, he's gonna produce, uh, go up here. We may have Mulan people declare war on us. Um, for Zanka, I don't know. We've been they. Sorry, Dorsa wants Zanka as well, which is why we've got a war. Um, so having a vassal could create problems for us in this region. It really could. Chupan. Peace. How about trade agreement? And how about regular payments? How much can you give me before this starts to tick down really quite fast? There we go. There we go. That's where it drops. Right. And then some money. Uh, how much money can you give? Because I'd like that much, please. Basically, just empty all of your gold coins out onto a table. Then, I would like... Ooh. How much else you can give me, is there? We'll take that. We'll take that. There. That'll do. Um, I'm only doing that because we can't declare war on him. Um, we've got to deal with the Nanmans first, so we'll deal with Chupan. That's bringing me two grand per turn, which is just magnificent. Uh, we've got a trade agreement too. Everybody's looking much, much, much happier. We we're going to need to find shit for them to do. Um, but they are looking much happier. We don't need that uh, just yet. Yes, it will be useful, but I need stuff that's going to produce me money first before we upgrade um our character experience because we're going to get enough experience anyway just generally mong hua you are where you're in between me and mulu but are you here that's the worry are you there hmm mong hua has declared war on me of course sir is time sign a peace treaty Okay, okay, okay. So, we now have night battles. Important for what we are about to do. Very important for what we're about to do. Um, Galiang, 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 Galiang. We could do with... You are a... Salt, so this is income from industry. We have... Communal workshops already. So... They might be useful. This is income from commerce. Inscription we don't need. Military forges need to be upgraded before we can get that anyway. So. That's all straight from industry. We just throw in a land development for now. That'll help out. That'll be rather wonderful. Uh, Jiao Zhe. Hmm. Income from commerce increase would be really rather lovely. Um, however, we don't know where Mulu, uh, sorry, where Encore is. We do know that Dorsa is here. We do know that he's here. We're going to sit here in ambush mode. Um, then I think, actually, we're going to save the money because... We don't know where he is, and he is not pleased with us. I mean, I know where he roughly starts, but we don't know who owns what. That is the problem. We don't know who owns what. Um, we can't sign any non-aggression packs or anything else like that, so we're not going to worry too much. I got food. Monghua is being an ass. Yeah, save the save the cash just in case I need to raise an army. Just in case I need to raise an army. Okay, good. Don't know where Dong Tuna is. But if we can take his capital, hopefully it'll be the same as like we did to Dong Tuna. Uh, if we take Dorsa's capital. Because then we can have another vassal. Um, I don't really want to take that territory just yet. I'd rather have them as vassals there. 
Here's his army. Oh my god, that's huge. I wasn't expecting his army to be quite so big. Ah, but they're newly recruited, aren't they? Character battles. Oh my god, there's loads of you. Ultra as well. I just don't need more people. I just don't need more people. We have 4,000 money. Oh wow, our economy is just working overtime here. Uh, available assignments is probably not a bad shout. Income from commerce would be good. Income from peasantry would be good. Recruitment cost is very, very nice. I mean, we do need we do need a lot of this stuff, but let's make people do shit. Um, so assignments will come in next turn. Most of our guys are vanguards, but we do have industrial exploitation and things like that. So we we have stuff that they could do. It will make them happier. Oh, I mean, we have some great, great stuff coming our way. Um. Hmm. These people are battered. He has some of the poison spears. The poison spears are a problem. This. All these poison guys, they're a real bloody problem. A real bloody problem. Right. If we go into here, we are in trouble. Ambushing them is very, very challenging indeed. We're all in Nanman territory anyway. 45, 43, 28. Go forward. There. Sit there. We'll see what we can do. You are bringing your ass back here. You love me, which is magnificent. Um, I feel I should spend some money whilst we have it. Yeah, we'll get some more food coming in here. Because we can trade it. Uh, nothing extra there. Okay, time out. Time out. You need food? Offer food. Uh, two. You really can't pay me, can you? So, request payment, cash up front, deal instead, give me a chest of gold, there, 400, that works. Monghua, Lady Ju Rong, Unstable Inferno. <sighs> Mulu, 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 Mulu. We're sending you food already. Shamok, oh, we're sending you food already. Do wrong. Do you know what? I'm going to offer you one food too. Stay away for a bit. Let me deal with my other problems first. It's quite a chunk of cash you give me. We'll, we'll leave it on the plus one. Oh, Julia, you're fine. Chupan, you're fine. Dorsa, we're fighting. Dong Tuna, he doesn't need anything. But, 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 we could. Because he has no food. Can I just have a chunk of your cash? Is that a thing you're willing to do, my man? Throw heavy amounts of money in my general direction? Oh, that's a bit much. Uh, no. Not quite. Yes. There we go. A grand for one. You're my new cash cow. Welcome to the party. There we go. We've made back our money. Having spent it on that. Which works really, really well for us. Uh, okay. Cash coming in. Let's see what Dorsa does. Dorsa and Mulu, I think think have a relatively good relationship no no it's not Dorsa and Mulu Dorsa doesn't uh, Mulu doesn't trust Dorsa Pyrrhic victory uh, if we were to fight a knight battle to the Pyrrhic victory um, well I guess uh, let's go in and have a quick gander at how we beat this guy then if we beat him we'll be able to take his town with no problem but we have to smash his army his poison troops are the problem. My troops are going to be tired as well, which isn't going to help. He's not up to full strength. 
which does benefit us, and in a straight fight, my infantry is better than his infantry. I need to focus his poison down. It just has so many poison units, though. So many poison units. Um, we're gonna fight him. We are gonna fight him. Probably over here. I wish I had cavalry. Uh, but I don't. So, you know, what can you do, right? Uh, we'll drop you here. Fire arrows, definitely. And we're going to have a crossbow unit here and a crossbow unit here. Yes, you are on skirmish mode. Precisely how I want you to be. The rest of you boys come here. We'll sort you out now. Okay. So, Axe, if you don't mind, can come here. Axe, if you don't mind, can come here. Uh, sword and sword directly behind. We want a militia unit on the flank. We want a uh, militia unit on the flank. And we want you and you behind. Uh, you and you up front. Um, don't know what our options are against these guys. Dorsa doesn't hit that hard. Wunu doesn't hit hard. None of them hit hard. None of them hit hard, and they're all a little bit hurt. Okay, close. I'm just going to wait for all these guys to get into position, and then we are going to begin our advance. I'm going to come at him from this flank. I want all my boys in position. I need my archers and crossbows more than I need anything else. Um, just creep further forward please if you don't mind there is Naman Spearman he's moving out the way it was so disappointing here we're trying to attack just one corner of him rather than here we go rather than his whole group can't see his whole group to be fair unless he really is no he has more people hiding um, but these poison spears we come and have a look at them they have no shields, but they will do a world of damage to you. Uh, we don't want you shooting at them. We want you shooting at them. You as well. Advance. Shoot them. You and you. Shoot them too. Bring him down. Bring him down. Bring him down. Bring him down. These are the guys we want to die. That man Spearman. Later on. Let's deal with poison first. Slaughter the poison troops, because they will just kill us eventually. Fire arrows coming in. It's going to... Add to the fear we're fighting a night battle too. The Naman are just not, not all that um, when it comes to dealing with fear. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Ripping them apart. They've routed. That's one unit gone. Come on, kill, 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 kill. Let's get rid of this Naman Spearman unit. Right, they are running, which is fine. They're Naman slingers. They're Naman slingers. They're Naman slingers. Uh, nah. I want this Naman Spear Unit 2, please. Where are his poison blow dart people? Right, they are running too. Magnificent. Right, let's get them. It has more poison spears over there, which we'll shoot at in a second. Let's just bring down some of these first. Right, they're running. Bring them down, please. Uh, right, you and you. Uh, can come here. You can hold that flank. You can hold that flank. Mm, you and you. Over here. Right. One, two, three, four. Good. Poison spears, please. They need to die. They need to die. Really badly. You're a little bit hurt. But they still don't want to duel you. You have a crap weapon. They still don't want to duel you. There they are. There they are. There they are. Fuck. That's what they can do. They are quite the most irritating things in the world. And they hurt when they hit. They have this like extended damage dealing crap about them. They're very, very good. Nah, not on them. Focus on them. You've got them. You come here. Shoot, 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 shoot. Set everything alike. We've got them beat. We've got them beat. 
they are out for the count in a second. Yeah, advance in here. You focus. You focus. You know what? You and you turn that off. Bring him down. So there's a little bit of fear going on here, which is fine. We can deal with that. You run into this fight. You as well get into this fight. You and you advance up here just to hold. We can deal with the fear because we're the ones that created the fire. Um, Archer, Archer. Okay. Fair enough. Right. Crossbows, if you don't mind, you've done your bit. You and you, I think, can advance through the fire. Straight up there. Uh, one, two, three. If you don't mind, bring her down. All right, let's bring him down as well. We'll not just to force them to run, you know? Um, they don't have to die necessarily. Uh, you know, you come back this way. Let's deal with Wulnu. Because <clears throat> she's about to run. They are taking a beating, frankly. Which isn't great. Rush over there. Kill. She's gone. Charge. Flank. Over here. Flank. You, you, and you. Advance. We got him. He wants to pick a fight with my archers, which he's more than welcome to do. You guys can advance straight up here. The slingers don't stand a chance against us. You batter the slingers. Pin. Uh, come around. Hit him in the back. You've got them. Do you want know shush yet? Yeah, you're off guard mode as well. Archers, if you don't mind, up here. Just in case any of them feel the need to return to the battlefield. They have routed completely. You can take out that Naman Spearman group instead. He's routing. Um, you boys flank. I think we can safely say we have this. She is running. He is running. We have won. Army dead. Magnificent. Heroic victory. How is that a heroic victory? That was an easy victory. Yes, it had a lot of troops, but the Nanman... Unless they have the animals in the early game are simply no match for the Han armies. Mid to late game, it's a different story. Um, they get some very tasty tricks and troops and everything else. Early game, the Naman are just not as good. Oh, we destroyed his army. Well. What say you to hiring a nan man i think that's a good idea we're going to take the replenishment because we're going to continue fighting um it's also a sign of peace really because he's fucked a rare talent though war brings chaos and disharmony to china there is glory to be gained in battle all the same as warriors clash on the battlefield the victorious cover themselves in glory one particular warrior excels a unique talent you would do well to be close I'll check him out in a second. But Flying Swallow General uh, wasn't really an ambush, was it? Um, advance. Take. Done. Occupy. Ah, he has more land. He has more land. That is a... Where do you have more land? So, we have some Naman territory. We can switch this. And we can, of course, switch this, which will be helpful. What we can do here as well, because we are here now, is we need some cavalry. Um, we are now at second marquee as well, which means we have more toys for our family members. So, Grand Commandant. In you go, sir. In you go. Um, on this front, an annuaire. Probably not a badge. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Instruction cost reduction. But he won't be very good long term, to be honest. He won't be. Uh, an annuaire. We can upgrade. Or, or, or. An annuaire. And we're going to put her in Galiang. Because Galiang is industry. And we have a Grand Excellency. Grand Excellency, Lady Shu. 
could be very happy in that position. She's a family member. She's otherwise very pissed off with us. Confirm. Good. Now I have noticed something. How old are you? 51. That's a shame. Ah. Right. Well, I'm sorry. You're 51. Bye-bye. You may have won some Spurs in battle, but you've done nothing. And we have... Ooh, no. This is quite... Yeah, bye-bye. This is quite good. Um, you're a little bit unhappy. You are... Lack of purpose, not a member and all the rest. Yeah, we'll sort your life out in a second. So we have a Nanman soldier. As far as weapons go, we can change him out to... Probably have this. Probably better for him. Um, actually, given his stats. Followers, we have nothing. We have no mounts we can give him. He comes with one of these. Um... He's really quite happy. Friendly, obstinate, composed. He's got one. Why did they put it in this? But he's a Nanman character, so he has a very different setup. Um, he uh, isn't uh, stuck with one type. He's not like a vanguard or a strategist or whatever. He has a variety of types he can do. So he could be extremely useful. Now, we have more money, which is, which is just great. Um... And because we have more money, I think we can start to look at uh, building out some of this territory down here. Uh, we're going to get some more food in here. Galiang, I think. That's a lot of money. I don't really want to spend that much money. Um, right. You want something to do. Lack of purpose. Well... I'd rather hire you into an army, frankly. You do want something to do. You also want something to do. Mustering, population growth, population growth replenishment. This is about to become a tiny bit of a battleground. So in you come here for some replenishment. There we go. Now, on the other front, we have... Galiang has industry. So, as far as assignment goes, do we have anyone who can do industry? No, we do not. Yulin is all commerce, but I think we have someone in Yulin already. We have a Yulin. We have Lady Shrup. Um, that leaves Zhao Zhe. So, in Zhao Zhe, in goes Zhang Min. Boom. Done. Money me up, my man. Money me up. Now, here in Guangyu, we are going to raise another army. Zhou Tai, out you come, my good soldier. In you go, sit there. Um, we're going to bring him out uh, just to solve his lack of purpose and everything else. And also, if we need to suddenly have an army appear, we have a sudden army that can appear. Um, there's potential, I guess, to get him to attack Zhang Ke down here. We shall see. I may be tempted to give all of this to Dong Tuna in the future too. But where on earth... Has he gone? Dorse, Dorse, where have you gone? Dongmin, oh, you're still not pleased with that, are you? Bloody hell. From coalition, eh? Oh, they're, they're not overly happy with that. You'll be out on non aggression pact. That's not enough money for me to warrant that. Me, <laughs> Disappointing. Very disappointing. Um, but no, we're in a good we're in a good state. We are in a very good state, and I think that is where I will leave it. We've beaten Dorsa. I don't know where he has disappeared to. I think he is just a roving army at this stage. Uh, we have Shamoku to our north. That is not wonderful. Um, we're still trading with him. I'm gonna need to continue that just to make sure we have a level of protection. Um we're going to advance into Monghua's territory. A fight against the Nanman was not what I expected this early on, but fine, I'll do it. Mulu we're still relatively friendly with, which is which is important because we need him as our border guard. Tramoku we can't fully trust. Monghua I will fuck over. Um, but that is all for next time. Thank you very much for joining me. See you next time. Bye bye.